welcome back to a new video and a new tutorial this is the two tower chimps achievement tutorial and uh let's get started we are on resort because resort is one of the easiest maps i know people like logs but for two tower chimps the fact that it goes around here three times is very important now this is the easiest way i've ever known to do it and uh let's begin we get a wizard at the top of this square and we go for middle path the reason we go for middle path is because the other tower we're using won't be able to get lead popping power quickly. And obviously Necromancer, uh, I won't have that soon either. So this is going to be the only way we're going to be able to pop leads. Unfortunately I'd like to go for top path but there's just no way you can get that much money by round uh, 28. As soon as we get enough money, we will move straight to Wall of Fire, and then we're going to be pretty set on damage. If you don't know about Wall of Fire, Wall of Fire is a very, very, very strong early attack, and it pretty much stops balloons in its track. I mean, it doesn't shoot exactly fast, but because balloons are going to have to go around here three times, it's going to be very, very strong. So now we've got a bit of money, we can go for the next tower, and that is going to be a, um, well, a dartling gunner as far back to the top right as possible. We're also going to lock the one to the left, I mean, it pretty much makes sense, you just lock all the way to the top there, and it will shoot across the track. This is going to go straight for faster barrel spin camo, and uh, that's going to be our camo damage, even though we're going to be able to get our wizard to camo anyway it's just securing camo damage and plus faster barrel spin is pretty good so quickly kill the leads and we're all good now it's just building up for that moab the next two upgrades and the update the upgrades we're going to do before round 40 is going to be focus firing and laser shot. The rest of the upgrades are all going to be to the wizard monkey. And with 6k in the bank, we can get Necromancer. And that's going to be everything we specifically need for round 40. We will still get laser cannons but obviously you don't need them if you can afford them you can get them a certain upgrades and certain things you can miss to get laser cannons but you don't have to however because we can and because we're going to make enough money there's no reason not to get laser cannons it's going to increase your damage by a lot if you are enjoying the video so far I'm going to tell you to subscribe, and that's because we just hit 3k, very exciting, there'll be a stream soon. Also join the Discord and like the video. Thanks for watching. And now we finally, well, soon to finally have enough money to get one of the most important upgrades, an upgrade that's going to just secure our life for the longest of times. That's going to be laser or plasma accelerator. Now make sure now that everything is in the correct location. Uh, that technically you can go a bit further back and you can have the plasma um, further there because you do more damage at the tip but really you don't need to hit things twice with this you're going to be doing just enough damage also remember to have your targeting a bit higher so that you can see or you can hit the balloons earlier it doesn't really affect much balloons have a pretty big hitbox but you want to make sure they hit balloons for as long as possible With all this damage done, it is finally time to get the Prince of Darkness. This will increase the range that Prince of Darkness can see by a lot, or how it can see by... Actually, not a lot, apparently. I'm just tripping. But will increase heavily the amount of balloons that are released. Unfortunately, at the moment, no balloons are really going to make it far enough for... Um... 
for anything to happen, I would say, because nothing's going to get into its graveyard. It's going to lose power, but eventually it will gain some when some stronger balloons get in here. So, I mean, don't worry if it's not shooting. It will shoot very... It will shoot eventually, especially as things can get killed more in this area. Um, Prince of Darkness will be working harder. By round 94, we are getting to the point where we get enough money. And as soon as you can, you get Ray of Doom. Ray of Doom does some serious, serious damage. And this is going to be a very, very key component in beating two tower chimps. Now, you don't have to micro round 100. It looks like if you double clicked tab it works, um, yeah. So as you can see the bad dies pretty quickly, you don't need to do anything, it should die just before, and then you can claim your rewards. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and get that two tower chimps. See you in the next video, and peace.